One of the issues in Analyst 2009 is support for UML2 component diagrams. The component diagram shows the structural relationships between the components of a system. Components are considered encapsulated units within a system that provide one or more interfaces. There are basically three elements to a component diagram. It is the component itself, drawn as a rectangle with an icon in the upper right hand corner. Then there are two types of interfaces. A provided interface is shown as a light bulb symbol, and the required interface is shown as a socket. Let's go ahead and create a simple diagram. Take the defaults and choose the component from the toolbar. And now let's add a provided interface. And now a required interface. You notice all I have to do is click within the component rectangle. It automatically has a component interface form. Now if you want to show more detail, we can explode this symbol down into its components. And then right click on it and choose explode. And you notice when we see the new diagram, it has component for us already drawn with the interfaces. Now all we have to do is add the internal components. Again, click on component toolbar. And order them. Provide an interface to order. And now we need to connect the external interface of store to the internal interface of order. And we do that using the delegate line. And we do that for the other interfaces in, of this particular component to connect all the internal interfaces with the external interfaces. That's a brief introduction into the component diagram features in Visible Analyst 2009.